It can be really difficult to pull yourself out of a rut. And it can be even more difficult to imagine yourself repeating the same mistakes and having the same experiences. I myself know all too well the feelings that come with these cycles. I also know all too well the mental exhaustion that can come when you think about trying to start your life afresh. Although hope can seem hard, you must understand that believing lies about yourself being unable to change will continue to make your life much, much harder. I could say much more, but the truth is what you need now is more than words. What is necessary is an experience with the God who interrupts and destroys the lies and strongholds that have kept you in cycles of pain and destruction. Not only will he do this, but by the power of the Holy Spirit, he will cause you to abound in hope. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing. You know, my friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters, many people, in fact, almost all people in life, many people do not like interruption. If they are playing uh, their football, they don't like interruption. If they are watching the TV, they don't like interruption. If they are even gambling, gambling away their lives, they don't like interruption. If they are doing the thing they have always done, we did not yield any good results they don't like interruption if they're lying down and they're looking at the pool where they think they'll get their healing they don't like interruption but you know God is so kind and God is so good even though you don't like interruption it will interrupt your life because he knows if he does not interrupt your life nothing better will come if you keep on going and going and going the way you've always gone he knew that nothing better will come therefore he comes to interrupt your life and this impact this convocation is one if is one interruption that in your life all the things that happened in the past everything will be interrupted and then this new year will be a new life and then you look back all the things of the past and the weakness of the past and the regrets of the past everything has now gone interruption somebody shout interruption and so jesus said unto him rise he had never heard that before in his life take up thy bed he never heard anything like that in his life and walk you mean i should rise up take up my bed carry my bed and walk i've never done that for 38 years what you have not done for 38 years 28 years 18 years eight years what you have not done all these many years today is the beginning yeah. you are right yeah. you'll take up that challenge yeah. you will walk yeah. i said you will walk lo and behold look at verse 9 in verse 9 and immediately the man was made whole immediately that interruption stopped the 38 years of problem he was made whole he took up his bed and watched hold on you see what jesus said it would have looked impossible we can't do that arise no, I cannot. Take up your bed. No, I cannot. Walk. No, I cannot. Don't say you cannot because a new day has dawned. Whatever you could not do before, when you hear that Jesus says, Arise now, you don't look at yourself, look at your past, look at the 38 years, look at the fact you don't have any man, and look at the fact that you're weak inside. When Jesus speaks, power comes with that word when you say change don't say i cannot change hold on when jesus speaks power comes with his word when he says see don't say i cannot see when jesus speaks power comes with his word he said arise he didn't hold him i will not come and hold you there he didn't jerk him up i'll not come over there to jerk you the word is coming to you from heaven yeah. 
And as the word gets to you, power will come with that word. Then he said, take up thy bed. Uh -uh. Are you kidding me? Are you joking? People take me up and take up my bed for me. I cannot take up my bed. He didn't say that when he speaks to your life. The power to do what he has said, it will come. When he says, go and succeed. I never passed any exam in my life. Forget about that. Go and succeed. Yeah. Go and be an achiever. Uh, Lord, me. It's never happened. I try, I try my best. It never happens. Don't talk like that. When he says, go and be an achiever, then you go from this impact. You say, thank you, Lord. And the very first thing you lay your hand upon to do, you will achieve. Yeah. So he said, take up your bed. And then he took up his bed and he walked. Now, when you start doing what you have not done for 38 years, it will appear strange to yourself. It will look like, is it for real? Am I right? Can I maintain this? Can I sustain this? The Lord is talking to you tonight and he says a conversion and a change and a transformation is coming in your life. When you start doing what you have not done for 10 years, for 20 years, for 38 years, you'll be strange to yourself. But there's nothing strange, Jesus will back you up. You know when a child tries to walk for the first time, that child stands up and that child begins to walk and then he falls and then he falls because he's doing it all by himself with natural, well, natural strength and natural force. But when Jesus told this man who had not walked for 38 years and interrupted his life with a miracle, he stood up and started walking without falling. You will walk, you will not fall. You will move up and you will not fade. And the things that appear impossible, suddenly they will become possible in your life. Hello friends, it's Bob Fitz here, worship leader and gospel artist. And you are watching GCK Daily, Global Crusade with Kumuyi. Let me pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for everyone, man, woman, boy, girl, young, old. I thank you for everyone. I pray, Lord, you interrupt their lives with your grace, even this time in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, your unmerited favor will come to everyone. I pray your forgiveness will come to everyone. Your promise, your blot out all their sins. And I pray right now from their life, from their memory, from their mind, blot out all their transgressions in Jesus' name. And I pray that your goodness will come to every life. Let them know that you've touched them. You have transformed them. You have converted them. And from this moment, things will never remain the same anymore in their lives in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name, we pray. God will put testimony in your mouth. It's of that hand. Father, will come to you, you are a God of love, a God of mercy, a God of power, the God that cannot fail, and the God that loves all your children, all your people, everyone that you have created. I'm asking Lord that tonight you touch everyone without exception in Jesus' name. I pray whether the sickness is small, or whether it's big, whether it's incurable, or whether it is something treatable, I pray, Lord, tonight, in your presence, there must be power. Power manifestation. Manifestation of healing. Manifestation of deliverance. Do it in every life tonight, in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, there will be the joy of healing. The joy of miracle. The joy of deliverance for every particular person in Jesus' name. 
Anything that needs repair, repair. Anything that needs recovery, touch them. Anything that causes pain, remove everything. Whether the sickness has this name or that name, long standing or just uh, uh, just recently, I pray that right now you touch and heal every one of them in Jesus' name. For everyone. For everyone. Confirm that miracle. Confirm that healing now. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name I pray. Yeah. Amen. It is done. Yeah. All my life, He is so, so good. With every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me. All my days, I've been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, I will sing of the goodness of God. Help me see all my life, all my life you have been faithful, all my life oh God, all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath, with every breath that I have heard, I will sing. I love your voice You have led me through the fire In darkest night You are close like no other I've known you I've known you as a father I've known you as a friend And I have lived in the goodness the goodness I will see goodness your goodness is running after it's running after me oh your goodness your goodness is running after it's running after with my life laid down with my life laid down i surrender now i give you everything your goodness your goodness is running after it's running after Thank you for joining us on today's episode. We believe that God has met you today. 
We would love to hear about it and other testimonies of God's faithfulness towards you. Feel free to reach out to us on our social media channels via DM or comment. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Lastly, if you are new or needing help on this journey, please visit our website displayed on your screen. There we have many resources to encourage you in your experience of eternal life here on earth. We thank you again for joining us. Remain in grace, love, and peace.